Hello YouTube, uh, SP99 here, and today I'm going to be giving you a review on the Celestron Astro Master uh, 130EQ Motor Drive Telescope. Um, this video was uh, requested by Callum's MC World. You can find a link to uh, his channel in the description below. Um, and to him, I'd just like to send a personal message at sorry for the late um, upload. Um, but anyway, I hope this is helpful to you and also the other viewers that are watching this today. Um, so, to start us off, I'm just going to talk about the main tubing of the telescope itself. Um, it's got a good aperture to it, it's got uh, just over 5 inches, which is 130 millimeters in this case. Um, really good for uh, planetary observations. Um, you can really see some really good detail on uh, Jupiter, Saturn, Mars and also our moon. Um, and that's also it. Also shows up in the astrophotography sides of it, sides of it, um, for for those objects in the sky. Um, viewing wise for deep space objects, um, it's quite good. It's how how I'd expect it really. Um, perhaps not as good as the uh, larger aperture models or telescopes, um, but I've not really seen through them to try it. But uh, to the beginner's eye, really good um, viewing through this telescope. But astrophotography for the uh, deeper space um, objects even um, does get a bit fuzzy and you can't really get much colour out of it if you're photographing nebulae. Um, so that's the aperture. Um, then we've got the uh, eyepiece viewer. Um, it holds all 1.25 inch eyepieces um, including the camera attachment so you can put your camera in it as well. Um, the telescope itself comes with a 10mm and 20mm eyepiece. Um, quite useful for the beginners who perhaps aren't really um, looking for those stronger deep um, space objects or looking to get closer up to those planets or craters on the moon. Um, but for me, I use this uh, Celestron eyepiece and filter kit. Um, really good kit. Um, if you want a proper review of that, there's a link on the screen now for it or also in the description um, it gives it, I give a review on that really good kit but uh, away from that really good um, eyepiece focuser um, you may may just be able to see here it's got a little bit of a silver inside to it now that unfortunately did have um, oil on it at some point so it was a nice smooth focus and it really didn't show up when, while you're filming for a, a webcam, for example. Have a now the two year mark, um, that oil, oily substance has sort of rubbed off, and it does stick to the inside of um, the telescope here now. Um, so if you're trying to get a nice, um, crisp, crisp video of, say, mo the moon's craters, you're going to get some fuzz as this stickiness does sort of shake the, the uh, actual mount itself. Um, so that's a bit unfortunate now, but it was really good a year ago. Um, then we have the Starfinder. Um, it's all right. It was all right for the first month or two. However, now because I was using this telescope a lot um, back in the summer, um, it did gather a lot of condensation, and over time that condensation does seep into the electronics of this. Um, and now you may only be able to see a small red dot for the first five minutes of your viewing other than that it really just it's a bit useless now so that's, that's a downside to it um, then we have the uh, braces which is the last bit I'm going to come to now for the top of the telescope really nice strong braces here um, even when the um, telescope tubing is uh, quite wet from the condensation it doesn't slide, it's got a nice firm grip on it, um, so that's the main uh, tube covered. Okay, so now the next bit of this video is going to be about the uh, mount itself. It's um, a German equatorial mount, as Celestron say. The um, main bit I'm going to be coming to about is the motor drive itself. This is one of the main features which I was um, debating whether to pay that extra £20 to get this um, motor drive model or the slightly cheaper one without the motor drive and I'm just going to tell you now that if you're thinking of getting the motor drive model 
don't it really is not worth it at all to be honest I don't know if it's just just me or it might be a malfunction but for me um, this motor drive just makes a noise like that you may be able to hear that but that's all it does um, it doesn't move the telescope at all like it says it's supposed to do on Amazon um, it, it doesn't it doesn't move at all to be honest I left it for half an hour once and again the telescope hadn't moved it, it's it's pretty useless for for my telescope anyway um, it may be different for other people but in my opinion it's just not worth that extra 20 pounds or so um, next bit is you may see just here um, this metal tube and another smaller one just here you probably can't see um, but uh, these were where the um, micro movement um, twisters usually are um, I've just taken mine off because of two main reasons one they just keep falling off anyway um, and if you're in the middle of a field in a, in a dark area doing your viewing and it just comes off you're not going to know about it um, cause I, and my second reason is simply because I don't really use it that much um, simply because when I'm twisting the telescope as you can see here it is actually just hitting that, that motor drive um, and that kind of acts like a, a blind spot really when it comes to viewing so you have to keep twisting the tripod itself to try and be able to see that, that point of the sky um, so obviously that's going to come with whatever model you'll get um, but I just don't use it that much so I've just taken them off anyway then we have some of these uh, angle and degree measurements on here to be honest I don't really know what they're for I don't really use it at all to be honest but if someone actually knows how to use it I'm sure they're quite useful because they're quite well made um, quite robust and really easy to read off um, but I don't really know what they do other than that um, so that's the mount mainly covered oh yeah and then we've got these uh, the counterweights here which you can unscrew and move up and down like this and as you can see the telescope is slightly tipping this way just it's being caught on the motor driver but that's the counterweights they're quite useful however they need constant tightening up tightening up even um, because over time over a long period of viewing time this is also going to get condensation on it and it just starts to slip down and your your telescope will start to move back further and further so they're alright for this cheap telescope however not not professional ones at all really so the mount overall it's, it's alright for beginners but it's nothing to really um, be so hyped up about okay so now the, the final bit of the telescope I need to review is the bottom half the uh, tripod and the accessory tray uh, now the accessory tray um, is very good it's a nice, uh, nice thick plastic um, it's a twist action one so whenever you need to put it on the uh, telescope you just twist it round into the and it also keeps um, the tripod nice and still um, the braces that it has though however for the actual tripod itself are quite weak you need to be quite careful when you're if you're twisting the uh, telescope round because I did at some point quite recently um, snap um, one of these braces and we have to send the uh, that whole tripod back to Celestron for them to actually um, send us a replacement back under the warranty which came with the telescope itself um, so that's another good bit about the telescope it comes with a 10 year warranty I think it is um, so that's good um, the tripod legs itself you may just be able to see on this left leg as it goes down a slight curvature on this last bit here um, at full extent these steel legs will start to bend it's not the actual metal itself it's just the joints um, which it's on just here it's a point um, they do start to bend a little bit but uh, if you're not going to be having it at full extent um, they're really quite rugged and really good um, keep the tripod nice sorry the telescope nice and still um, so that really is the review of uh, the telescope I'm not too sure um, the proper 
um, in-depth specifications about this. However, that's pretty much all that matters to the uh, beginners. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. I um, hope you liked the video. Um, so I hope to see you soon, guys. Bye.